Welcome, my name is Margarita Blanco. I'm a nurse consultant with Lanterman Regional Center. This video is module number two of the series titled, What You Need to Know About COVID-19 Vaccination. In this module, we will learn about the groups that are eligible to receive vaccines. We will also explore and identify ways to search or find appointments and how to book and schedule appointments for those COVID-19 vaccines. But before we get started, I wanted to review this disclaimer that this presentation is for informational purposes only. This presentation is not to provide medical advice and should not be substituted for seeking medical advice from your healthcare provider. The information shared today is intended to help you make a well-informed decision and or prepare for a more detailed conversation about COVID-19 vaccines with your healthcare provider. The information shared today related to COVID-19 illness, COVID-19 vaccine information, eligibility, and vaccine appointment information is current as of March 31st, 2021, but is subject to change. So please continue to frequently check the CDC website, your local and state public health department website for changes, updates, and guidance about COVID-19 illness and COVID-19 vaccines. So let's get started. Currently in LA County, these are the groups that are eligible to be vaccinated under phase 1A and phase 1B. For some time now, our parents and family caregivers, you have been eligible now under the health care worker group. But most recently, our clients ages 16 to 64 years of age with a chronic medical condition or an intellectual or developmental disability, you are now eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine because you're considered at high risk due to one of those conditions. I do wanna point out that next month, it will be more competitive to find appointments since on April 1st, anyone ages 15 years of age or older will be eligible for the vaccine. And starting April 15th, individuals aged 16 years or older will become eligible for the vaccine. So the healthcare worker group, um, our family member caregivers and parents, um, you have been notified or sent a letter if you met the criteria um, as a family caregiver. And the reason you were made eligible is because you care for a regional center client, say family member or a child who's considered at high risk for complications of COVID-19 due to a diagnosis of cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, epilepsy, or they have intense health care or medical needs. So the family members or parents that met this criteria, you should have received a letter already in February um, with this eligibility criteria. If you have not received those letters, please reach out to the service coordinator or to the Family Resource Center. And those letters look something like this. Um, they will be personalized with the client's name and the diagnosis and the parent and family member's name, the caregiver's name will be identified there as a healthcare worker. So we strongly recommend that you bring these letters with you to your vaccine appointment in case there's any questions about um, your eligibility group. Um, and as I mentioned just this month on March 15th, um, all of our regional center clients ages 16 to 64 years of age were made eligible. You're considered high risk because of a medical condition or an intellectual or developmental disability that puts you at risk. So these are some of the medical conditions that they've identified as putting you at higher risk for COVID-19, cancer, lung disease, Down syndrome, if you're pregnant, a heart condition, severe obesity or diabetes. Um, but any regional center client ages 16 to 64 years of age is eligible effective March 15th. You do not need to get a letter or documentation from your healthcare provider. Last week, 
the regional center mailed out letters to all regional center clients, all individuals eight, ages 16 to 64 years of age. Um, the letter will be personalized with your name um, and it identifies you as being a regional center client and that you meet the eligibility group criteria based on your medical condition or your intellectual or developmental disability. So you should have received these letters already or you will be receiving them shortly in a few days. If you do not receive them by next week, please notify your service coordinator or contact the Family Resource Center for further assistance. So COVID-19 vaccine appointments. As I mentioned, um, vaccine appointments will be more competitive to find next month. Um, as more groups become eligible, the demand for vaccines will remain high. And unfortunately for a little while, our vaccine supply will continue to remain low, but we're hopeful in the coming months, um, there will be more availability of vaccines. So what I wanted to do here is help you navigate your way through the different appointment um, systems and websites. Um, and let you know where you can find vaccine appointments. So there's a variety of different places throughout LA County that you can get vaccinated. Um, there are large vaccination sites called pods or megapods. They can vaccinate hundreds of people in a day. The majority of these places are drive-through. There are a few exceptions that offer both drive-through options and walk-ups. Um, examples of these would be like Dodger Stadium or Cal State LA. Dodger Stadium is drive-through only. Cal State LA offers both drive-through and walk-up options. Um, also, hospital medical groups and healthcare providers, so if you're a member of Kaiser or UCLA, Providence, even Adventist Health, um, they will be reaching out to their members um, through their patient account portals. Um, and sending them invitations to register for a vaccine at one of their clinic sites. Um, so if you're a member of one of those healthcare systems, you may want to check um, your patient portal to see if there aren't any announcements there. Um, also, community health clinics and federally qualified healthcare centers. Um, these are some of the free clinics or places where low-cost health care is provide. If you receive your care through one of these clinics, um, many of them are offering um, vaccine appointments um, at their clinics. Some examples would be like Kedron or Clinica Romero. Um, so please contact um, the place where you receive health care to find out um, if they have any vaccine clinics or upcoming events for vaccination. Um, workplaces are also offering COVID-19 vaccines to their employees. Um, some of these places include hospitals, grocery store chains, school districts. Um, so they'll vaccinate you on site at work um, when they have these events scheduled. Um, some senior housing developments and senior centers, um, they're vaccinating or offering events. Um, to the people that live there or that attend um, events, or if you're 65 years of age or older, you may be eligible. So um, if you live in one of these settings or attend activities or there's a senior center nearby, you can call to inquire if there are any vaccine events coming up in your community. Skilled nursing facilities and long-term care facilities, including congregate living, assisted living, even residential care facilities uh, for regional center clients. Um, most of these long-term care sites have already vaccinated um, the majority of their residents. Many of our regional center clients that reside in nursing homes um, and in residential care facilities have already been vaccinated through um, a federal partnership with um, pharmacies such as CVS and Walgreens. Um, so they were vaccinated on site um, at the places they live. And at this point, they've already completed a two dose vaccine series or they're finishing up and um, they're on their second doses at this point. 
Um, there's also a variety of mobile vaccination units or vaccination clinics, pop-up sites in different neighborhoods, cities, and communities. Examples of these that I will share is City of Glendale um, and the City of Los Angeles and their council districts. Um, and then there's community pharmacies, so your neighborhood Walgreens, your CVS, your Rite Aid, even grocery store chains that have pharmacies inside, they will also be offering appointments for COVID-19 vaccines. And then there will be a variety of um, opportunities or events um, that will be run by public health, the county, city, uh, particular uh, community organizations or healthcare partners, including regional center. Every once in a while, we will post information on our website or service coordinators may contact you to let you know of a special invitation. Um, so please stay tuned um, for more information about those types of things. Um, regardless of um, where you get your vaccine. I think this is a great place to start. Um, and this is the um, LA County Department of Public Health COVID-19 website, uh, COVID-19 vaccine website specifically. Uh, if you go to vaccinate LA County, um, you'll get to this page. And if you haven't been here before, um, I recommend that you um, check out this page. There's lots of great information and resources. If you still have questions or concerns about vaccines and what being fully vaccinated means, um, even more details and information about eligibility, about eligibility documents, how to find an appointment, what you do after your vaccines or second doses, that kind of stuff. Lots of great information here. So you should really check it out. Information is also being made available in different languages. Um, if you wanna sign up for a vaccine newsletter for updates, um, you can put your email address here and sign up um, and register. Um, check this page frequently as it's frequently being updated and um, there's updates posted. Um, important to note here is that the COVID-19 vaccine is free to all eligible persons, um, regardless of your immigration status and insurance is not required. Um, and your medical information is protected. Uh, by law. So again, this is a great place to start information in different languages. Um, if you want to explore the portal in Spanish, you can click here. Um, so I'm going to walk you through this so we can learn about the different appointment systems, the websites and portals and ways to find appointments um, so that uh, you have a better understanding um, of what your different options and availability of appointments looks like. So you would click here where it says how to make an appointment um, and then it will take you into this other screen. Um, and so you can make a search um, in different ways. So you can search um, by clicking on the link for type of appointment system and this will take you to different platforms or portals. Um, some of the larger ones um, that pull in pull availability of appointments from all over LA County and a variety of different settings. Um, or the other option, if you kind of already have narrowed down your focus as to how far you can travel or how you can get there, um, or you know you just wanna go into a neighborhood pharmacy like a CVS or a Walgreens, you would click here um, where it says type of location um, and then it'll give you options and links for um, the specific CVS pharmacy, for Walgreens, for Vons. It'll give you the specific links and then you would click there and, and follow um, the prompts and fill in the information they ask. Um, also, another option is if you want to look at a particular geographic um, location uh, visually, you can click here and then you can zoom in on a particular area or region where you want to explore uh, vaccine appointment availability. And you would then just have to click on the different sites to get information about registration and, and what their availability is. Um, so these are the various options. So what I'm going to do is start off by taking you through the um, 
appointment systems. Um, one of the major ones that we often recommend um, our clients use and our regional center families use is the myturn.ca.gov website, the myturn.com, um, or it's a partnership with the, the California Department of Public Health, um, LA County, FEMA, and other community partners. And as you'll see here, um, there's a variety of different locations that um, when you go onto the website and search, it will pull from a variety of these settings. Um, so, like I said, it's a little bit more comprehensive. It will pull appointment availability from different places. You can enter a search by zip code. So, I'm going to walk you through this particular um, appointment system or portal so you can see how you need to plug in your eligibility information so that it lets you advance and go through and find uh, an appointment and then, you know, book your appointment. Um, so to start, you know, you want to go through the myturn.ca.gov website. If you need to change the language, um, it gives you that option. So here's an example of what the screen will look like, the different questions and prompts it's going to give you. Um, so if you want to continue in English, you just click enter. And then it's going to ask you a couple of questions. It's really important that you answer all the questions and as completely um, and accurate as possible. Um, if you are an adult and you're signing yourself up, you certify that you're 18 years of age. If you're 16 or 17 years of age, your parent must do it for you. Um, if you're under the age of 18, your parent must also accompany you to the vaccine appointment. Um, and then you need to continue and um, certify that you're answering the information as accurate as possible, that you give consent, um, to um, the use of your information for the purposes of scheduling a vaccine appointment. You give your attestation that um, the information you put in there as far as your eligibility or eligibility group um, is accurate. Um, and you acknowledge that you have read the uh, privacy statement that's made available on this page. And then it asks you to select um, the age range um, for the person that is scheduling the appointment or for who you're scheduling the appointment for. Um, and then this is one of the most important screens in order to get you to, to progress on to finding appointments is um, this is really the eligibility um, information um, that where it needs to get plugged in. So, um, what I'll explain here is that so for individuals ages 16 to 64, um, you're now eligible as of March 15th based on the fact that you meet criteria, you're considered high risk because of a chronic medical condition or because of an intellectual or developmental disability. So these two questions here address that. So it's very important that you answer these um, accurately. So if you do have one of the qualifying medical conditions, um, you would click yes. So if you have cancer or lung disease, Down syndrome, uh, if you have type 2 diabetes, a heart condition, if any of those things apply to you, you would click yes. If you don't have any of those conditions, then you would click no. But this question here, everyone should pretty much check off because this is automatically going to make you eligible. If you are a regional center client ages 16 to 64, um, based on your intellectual or developmental disability, you are considered high risk. Um, so it's asking you if you have a physical or mental disability that puts you at high risk. So you click yes. Um, so this is really important. You may qualify with both, um, but it's really important that um, this one be marked off because your regional center client. Um, if the medical condition applies to you, then that one will be clicked as well. When you get to this part here where it asks, select the business industry you work in for regional center clients ages 16 to 64, this is not so important. Here, you simply just need to um, click select other and then fill in uh, click and select, you live in LA County. Um, we are not using access codes at this time. And then you would click continue. For our parents and family member caregivers, 
Um, these questions don't necessarily apply to you as much unless you do have um, a qualifying medical condition, then you would answer yes if that applies to you. Um, unless you're also a regional center client, you would mark yes um, if it applies to you. But remember, your eligibility as a parent or a family member caregiver is based on the fact that you fall under the healthcare worker group. So for you, answering this question is really important and is going to be um, the eligibility criteria for you. So here you would click and select healthcare worker or healthcare industry worker. That would make you eligible. And then you continue and you enter um, that you live in LA County. So you would click there and select LA County, Los Angeles from the menu. We're not using access codes and you would click continue to proceed uh, through the portal. Um, and then it tells you, congratulations, you're eligible. Um, and then now at this point, it will allow you um, to make a search. So you will plug in either your address, um, your home address or the zip code where you wanna search or a zip code near your work, whatever is more convenient for you and then you click continue. If for any reason as you're doing this process, you answered something incorrectly and you need to go back, you would click here, go back, and you would fix that and then continue. Um, so at any point, uh, when you enter your zip code, click continue, then it will give you um, a variety of options near that zip code. So here's an example. Um, when I put in the zip code for regional center, it pulled up these options for you. Now I do want to um, let you know that there will be circumstances where you go in and you plug in information, a zip code, and there's nothing. Please be patient. Remember the demand for vaccines is high and a lot of people are searching for appointments at this time. So try back later, another day, different times of day. These websites are being constantly updated, but people are also constantly booking appointments as well. So be patient. Um, at some point, you will get lucky, you will find something. Um, so, you know, you may get something that looks like this. And so these are, um, this is a community clinic and it's telling me that um, all three vaccines are offered here. Um, it doesn't say it's a drive through site, but when you click see availability, it will give you more details or specific information as to what dates are available, um, how the site is accessed, whether it's drive through by car only or whether it's walk up. Um, and then the specific day, it will tell you whether it's a Moderna, a Pfizer or a Johnson and Johnson vaccine. So again, if you're signing up a minor, someone who's 16 or 17 years of age, you need to check and make sure that it's a Pfizer uh, vaccine being given on the day that you're being registered. And then also make sure that it is a site that you can get to. Um, if it's drive through, you need someone to drive you there or you personally need to go in your own vehicle. Um, so these are, these are some of the selections, um, but it will pull from a variety of sites based on what's available at the time. And it could be a large pod, um, it could be a community clinic site, it could be a neighborhood pharmacy, those types of things. So check back frequently and hopefully you'll get lucky and find something. Um, and then this is another appointment um, system. Uh, this one's called Prep Mod. Um, these are the facilities that will use this um, appointment system. Um, we have utilized the Prep Mod system um, when Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center has invited us or given our clients and families opportunities for vaccine appointments at some of their clinic events. And so what happens is it's a link um, through this prep mod system that's specifically tied to a particular day in clinic. And so you would click on that link and register yourself through that link. So that's the prep mod system that uh, some of these sites use and um, they use it for a lot of tracking and their record keeping purposes too. Um, but it also allows them to send out individual links to people to register for their vaccine events. 
And then there's also Carbon Health. Um, this is the link that you would go to for the Carbon Health appointments. These are um, through the City of LA, um, through a partnership with the LA City Fire Department. They have like six or seven pods um, in the city of Los Angeles that are run, you know, by the fire departments. I believe the majority of them are drive through only, but you'll have to go to that website to get specific details about how to register, um, what sites are available and the appointments and times that are available and what vaccines they're offering. Um, and then, like I mentioned, you could also select individually if you already have in mind, I want to go to a particular place. I want to go to a neighborhood pharmacy. Even the pharmacies inside Costco, certain um, locations are offering them. Um, you would click directly on the link and then um, answer the questions um, off of their websites to then, you know, navigate your way to schedule an appointment. Um, but all of these um, links and appointment systems are available on that LA County website, Vaccinate LA County. So that's why I say that's a really great place to start where you can find access to all these sites and it's constantly being updated. Um, there's more sites being added um, and information is constantly being updated. Um, but I did want to share a few other alternatives or options that you may want to consider to find appointments. Um, this is a website that I find is pretty easy to use, uh, Vaccine Finder. Um, this is the website, vaccinefinder.org. Um, and you can do a search by zip code. You can also do a search by preference if there's a particular vaccine you're looking for. Um, and then you can conduct the search by zip code and how far away from that zip code you're willing to travel. So if transportation is an issue and you want to be able to get there, um, you know, by walking or by taking the bus, you know, you may want to narrow down how far away you want to go. Um, and so here's an example. I did a search. I plugged in the regional center zip code and I said I only wanted to go and look maybe a mile around the regional center zip code to see what's available. Um, and it gave me these options. And so it will tell me the place. Um, it will tell me um, if they have a vaccine in stock um, or if there's nothing currently available, but it's some place that you may wanna check back later in case they restock or they receive more vaccines. So you would individually go in and click on these locations to get more information about uh, availability of appointments and what vaccine is being offered. Um, this is another one called Find My Vax LA. This is a pretty simple website, um, but what I do like about it is that it offers real-time available appointments. It's updated um, quite often um, and all you need to do basically is just go there and then it'll give you um, in real time the next available appointment. So if transportation isn't an issue, your schedule is an issue, um, and you really just want to find the next available appointment, and it doesn't matter where it is and you can go there, this is a great site to look at. Um, you can also search by zip code. Um, it will tell you what's available, both you know, same day, next day, and future appointments that may become available. Um, so this one's pretty easy to use. I believe they're also working on making it available in other languages too, so that you can uh, translate it. Um, and then these are um, some smaller local events. You won't necessarily find these. Um, on the big platforms like the, the My Turn or the Prep Mods or the Carbon Health. Um, these are local events. This one, for example, is for um, seniors, people over the age of 65 that live in Glendale that are homebound or having difficulty getting to a vaccine clinic. Um, if you meet the criteria, um, you may be eligible to be vaccinated at home. They will come to your home. Um, and so if this um, applies to you, if you are a resident of the city of Glendale and you meet this criteria, you can call this number 818-550-5617 to sign up. Um, or you can visit the website here um, 
and get more information about how this program works. Um, and then here is another um, mobile outreach program. Um, this one is through the city of Los Angeles. Um, this is a partnership between, you know, the city and um, the LA City uh, Council Districts, the council members' uh, district offices. Um, in certain council districts, they are organizing and offering mobile pop-up vaccine clinics in your neighborhood. Um, these I highly recommend you look into if transportation is an issue or your schedule um, is, is challenging. Um, some of these places you may be able to um, show up the day of the vaccine event and register in person. So if you're having technical issues or, um, you know, access to technology, that kind of stuff, this may be a little bit easier to navigate. But you do need to know what district you live in. If you don't know what district you live or work in in the city of Los Angeles, you can ask a neighbor, someone um, you trust, um, or you can ask somebody to go to this empowerla.org website. Um, there you can plug in your address um, and it'll tell you what council district that you live in. Um, so if you know somebody who has computer access that could look up that information for you and get it to you, that would be great. And then once you know what council district you live or work in, then you go to this website, the coronavirus.lamobilevax site, um, and here it will tell you what council districts are offering mobile events. It has the contact information to the council member's office. Um, or it may have a link if they have some planned events or scheduled events already, and you can register off those links. But again, if um, you don't have access to a computer or technology, the phone numbers for the council members' offices are available there, and you can just call and inquire about upcoming appointments um, or any vaccine events that they have planned for the future and get yourself on some sort of waiting list and then they'll call you and notify you when they plan to schedule them. And then they may just have you show up the day of the event and register you there. Um, so like I said, these events, they're on a smaller scale, they're more local, they may be easier to get to, and these are not available on those big um, website platforms or appointment systems. Um, other ways to find an appointment, um, if you need assistance or you don't have access to a computer, um, if you would like to look into the Vaccinate LA County resources, um, you can call 1-833-540-0473 between 8 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. Just be aware that there may be long wait times, but they can assist you over the phone in finding and booking appointments at some of the LA County vaccination sites and their partners. Um, if you would like to utilize the MyTerm platform, but you don't have computer access or an email address or a mobile phone, um, you can call the hotline for the MyTerm website. That's 1-833-422-4255. They answer calls Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and on Saturdays and Sundays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you can call them for assistance um, in using um, or doing a search for appointments on the MyTerm platform. And again, just wanted to remind you that you can always call your healthcare provider wherever you receive care, whether it's a local clinic, a medical group, or you can even contact your health plan. They may be able to connect you with resources or know of vaccine events in your community. Um, you can also call the regional center. Um, we may uh, be posting on our websites events that we know that are coming up, or if we have special invitations such as um, you know, our partnership with Hollywood Press when those vaccines uh, appointments become available. We may be doing a little outreach um, or posting that information on our website. So please stay tuned. Um, check our website for updates, but also you can contact your service coordinator or the Family Resource Center if you need assistance with scheduling appointments or you need resources 
um, for transportation to get to the vaccine appointment. I will also be sharing a little bit information about transportation resources as well. Um, but regardless of which appointment system you use or platform, it's just very important um, that you do have um, all of your information and your insurance cards and all that stuff handy because uh, most of the online websites and platforms will ask for your name, address, and phone number. You will need to have an email address um, or a cell phone with text messaging capabilities so that you can receive appointment confirmations or reminders. Um, they will also ask you questions about um, allergies, your medical conditions, whether you're feeling well, certain diagnosis and conditions. So it's important that um, you have that information available because as you navigate your way in scheduling online, um, it will ask you, you know, the, the personal information, medical information, and insurance information, um, as well as, you know, a healthcare screening. Um, so like I said, if, if you don't have access to technology or you need assistance with navigating your way through um, scheduling something online, um, please try utilizing some of these um, hotlines or call the regional center um, or your healthcare provider about events. Um, so transportation to vaccine appointments, um, I do wanna make you aware, those of you that already have um, existing accounts with um, the city of LA or a city paratransit service, um, or you have access services, you can utilize them to get to and from a vaccine uh, appointment or a clinic site. Um, most of them will do drop off at walk up locations. Um, access services does provide transportation only to a few drive through locations. So you do need to go to their website um, to get um, specific details about what uh, drive through sites they go to before you book your appointment. You can also utilize the Metro LA uh, website, um, their trip planner, if you need to figure out how to get to a walk-up site um, by bus or Metro or a combination of the two. I do also want to share with you that if you are a member of a Medi-Cal healthcare plan, one of your benefits is that you can get medical transportation to preventive care visits and getting a vaccine is considered preventive care. So um, please contact the member services department. Um, member services phone number should be on the back of your card or you can call one of the numbers listed here. Um, so if you're a member of LA Care, Health Net or Kaiser, contact member services about transportation to and from uh, vaccine appointments. Some of them do require that you give advance notice for making a reservation um, for transportation. So as soon as you book your appointment, make sure you have enough time to notify um, and make a reservation for transportation. LA Care requires about a two days notice. Health Net requires uh, five days in advance notice. Kaiser, you'll need to call to get more details. And then I do want to quickly summarize um, the vaccine eligibility documents that you'll need. If you want more detailed information about this, you can find it on the LA County uh, COVID-19 vaccine website, Vaccinate LA County. There's a tab there about a variety of different eligibility documents that can be used. Um, but just to highlight here, these are the main things that you'll need the day you show up to your appointment. So you do need to show proof of eligibility. So that will be by way of the regional, cent regional center letters that were sent out, um, your work ID or a paycheck stub. Um, you will need to present a photo ID, something with your photo, your and um, your complete name. It does not need to be a government issued ID. Um, if you have a California ID or a driver's license, that's great, but there's a bunch of alternate forms of ID that can be used. So visit that Vaccinate LA County website for more details, but um, it could also be like a gym membership card with your photo, your day program ID. 
Um, and then the third thing you need to prove is that you live or you work in LA County. And you may satisfy that requirement by, you know, the regional center letter may have your address on it, or your paycheck stub um, has your address on it, or your work ID has the address of where you work. Um, the California ID or driver's license, that will have um, your, your address on it as well. But if you need to bring some additional proof of where you live and work, um, you could satisfy that with some type of correspondence, like a phone bill or a utility bill. And I just wanted to remind everyone that vaccines are free. Um, insurance is not a requirement, um, and regardless of your immigration status. Um, some sites like the pharmacies, the community pharmacies, may remind you or ask you to bring your insurance cards. This is for reimbursement purposes only um, if you have insurance. Again, if you do not have insurance, just tell them you don't have insurance. 